Hi everybody, it's Mike from Inflatable Border. One of the most common questions that we get is what is the best paddle board for a beginner? And one of the common pitfalls a lot of people fall into is buying solely based on price, thinking, oh, I'm gonna buy you know, this really cheap sup over here because it's you know, $100 and you know, if I don't like it, then you know, whatever. And a lot of times what happens is that people who buy those $100 paddle boards don't like them. And they don't like paddle boarding and they struggle with it and they have a lot of problems. And that's because they bought a $100 paddle board. These boards are typically made with just the lowest basement quality anything that anyone could possibly get. Uh, they're not very rigid, they don't perform well, and oftentimes they don't even last very long. I've even had people come to me for repairs for paddle boards that they have just bought. They haven't even used once and they're already falling apart. So buying solely based on cost can oftentimes cost you a lot more in the long run, either through repairs or replacements or just throwing a board away because you didn't like it or it didn't work or it fell apart. So with this in mind, we've created our list of favorite inflatable paddle boards for beginners that take cost into account, but also look at quality, performance, stability, rigidity, all of those other factors that make a paddle board a truly great option for a beginner as they start learning. So let's get right into our list today of our favorite inflatable paddle boards for beginners. Starting our list off, we have the Nautical 10 foot 6 inch by iRocker. Nautical is iRocker's line of budget-friendly entry-level paddle boards. Not only is the Nautical 10 foot 6 one of the most feature-packed boards on our list today, but it also performs really well on the water. With the double layer composite construction, the Nautical 10 6 keeps a lot of rigidity, which provides it a lot of great performance characteristics on the water, including really good tracking and speed performance. And with the Nautical, you also get a complete kit of accessories, including a fiberglass and nylon paddle that actually feels really good in the hand and isn't overly heavy. And for larger paddlers out there, for those who want to bring a pet or child or you know, occasional adult passenger with them, Nautical also has the Nautical 11 foot 6 inch, a slightly longer version that has more volume and more capacity. The Isle Pioneer 2.0 is not only one of our favorite paddle boards for beginners, but it's also on our best list of just general all around paddle boards. This board performs really well in the water thanks to its very large stable shape. It's great for paddlers who want that really stable feel, but they also don't want to feel like they're paddling a barge. The Pioneer 2.0 has a great blend of performance between its tracking ability, its maneuverability, its speed, and its stability. The Pioneer 2.0 also has a really nice soft deck pad that takes up a large portion of the board. It gives you plenty of room for stretching out for some step yoga or just laying down to relax for a little bit. Uh, or if you are bringing a passenger with you, it's plenty of room for the two of you to share. It does come with a great kit of accessories, including a carbon fiber nylon paddle, and it does have a US spin box, so you can swap that fin out if you need to, to paddle in shallower water or change other performance characteristics. The Gilly Air 10.6 is another high feature paddle board that offers a lot of great value for new paddlers, giving them opportunities to try out a lot of different aspects of the sport. It's a little bit lighter weight construction than the Nautical, not quite as stiff, but very, very close, and it's also very budget friendly. If you are looking for that kind of lower cost alternative, the Gilly Air 10.6 is a great option. If you're looking for a lightweight board that offers great stability, then you're going to want to look at the Nixie Venice G4. This lightweight board is super rigid, it's also 33 inches wide, and has a full length deck pad. So that gives you a lot more stability than a 32 inch board, and again allows you to use the entire length of the board for whatever you'd like, whether that's moving around for some sup yoga, stretching out, bringing a passenger, fishing, anything like that. One of the things that we really love about all of the Nixie paddle boards, including the Venice G4, is the kit paddle that comes with it. The Nixie Carbon Hybrid Kit Paddle is one of our favorites. It's lightweight, it's stiff but comfortable to use, and has a great blade size and shape for a wide variety of paddlers. The Thurso Water Walker 132 is another board that has positions on both our best beginners paddle board list and best overall paddle board list. This board is a great mid price point board for the paddler who wants something that's going to be a little bit faster, a little bit more sporty, but still has plenty of stability to learn on. 
It has a high quality dual layer fusion PVC build, and it comes with another high quality carbon fiber nylon paddle blade that's actually upgradable later if you wanna purchase the full carbon fiber paddle blade uh, for a little bit better performance down the line. The Waterwalker 132 is a great option for those new paddlers who know that they want to go a little bit farther, maybe do some more fitness paddling, as it does have really excellent tracking performance. And for 2023 and beyond, the Thurso Waterwalker 132 also comes with an electric pump to make it really easy to get ready for your day on the water. The Honu Fairlight is another high performance board that we have on our list for beginners. This board is 10 feet 8 inches long by 33 inches wide and it feels really solid on the water. The stability is just excellent. It does have a thinner profile at just 4.7 inches thick and that brings your center of gravity lower to the water and it also makes the board feel a little bit more sporty, a little bit more agile and maneuverable. This is a great option for the new paddler who wants something that's going to be able to grow with them really well as they progress in the sport. It's also one of the best options on our list if you do live in those surf zones and are interested in trying your hand at some subsurfing. Next up on our list is another board from Isle, the Isle Switch 2-in-1 Hybrid stand-up paddle board and kayak. Now that's a mouthful, I'm just gonna call it the Switch. The Switch is the ultimate family paddle board. It's a large board, 11 and a half feet long by 35 and a half inches wide. It does have a ton of capacity to carry a lot of passenger weight. So if you're paddling with a child or even another adult, the Switch can handle it with ease. The full length deck pad and the aisle link system makes it really easy to set this paddle board up as either a solo paddle board, a solo kayak, a tandem paddleboard, a tandem kayak, or some mix in between if you want one person standing and one person sitting. And even though it's such a large board with the Isle AirTech Fusion Light construction, it is super lightweight, so it makes it easy to transport as well. And the Isle Switch also comes as a complete kit with not only a paddle, but also a kayak conversion for that paddle, as well as an inflatable kayak seat. So you really do get quite a value for the price with this package. Next on our list is one of our most stable paddle boards. This is the Gilly Mino 10 foot 6 inch. At 35 inches wide, 10 and a half feet long, this board is super stable. So if you're worried about stability, you're worried about your balance and ability to stand up, a wide board like this is gonna make it super easy for you. At 10 and a half feet long, it's also still quite agile in the water. Gilly also includes a set of different size fins that allows you to use this board both in deep water and shallow water, making it a great option for paddlers who move between rivers and lakes or the ocean. The dedicated fishing mounts, the large amount of cargo storage space, and the wide stable shape make this a great option if you are wanting to get into sub fishing or uh, doing some shorter overnight trips and you're bringing a lot of equipment with you, or again, paddling with a passenger. And lastly, if you're like me and you know you like to jump into things and you want super high quality, you've got that buy once, cry once mentality, then the Red Paddle Co. 10 foot 6 inch ride is a great option for a first paddle board. The Red Ride has a thinner profile at 4.7 inches thick. It is 32 inches wide though, so it still has plenty of stability. It has a really classic shape that gives it a lot of stability, but doesn't detract from its maneuverability either. And with the fixed fin system, you don't have to worry about losing fins or swapping them out. Red has done a really good job of balancing the tracking and maneuverability performance with these two fixed fins. And with Red's MSL, monocoque structural laminate construction, this board is gonna last you a long time. The Ride series has been around for many, many years and are used widely throughout the world, not only by private boaters, but also by outfitters, liveries, and guide services as well. Now, as you're watching through this video, you're probably still wondering to yourself, okay, but which one is right for me? Because there's a lot of different sizes here. And that is a really important thing to consider is getting the right size board. After all, if you're on a board that's too small, it's gonna be less stable, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to learn. If you're on a board that's too big, it could be really difficult to paddle effectively, and that's also gonna make it harder to learn. For most paddlers, an inflatable stand-up paddleboard between 10 and 11 feet long 
and around 32 to 33 inches is going to do the job for a first paddleboard. They provide enough volume, capacity, and stability to help you learn how to paddle and also to kind of move with you as you progress. Now, if you're a larger paddler like myself, then you're gonna want a slightly larger board, 11 to 11 and a half feet between 33 and 35 inches wide. That's gonna give us more volume, more capacity, more rigidity, and it's gonna feel a lot better on the water. If you do plan to paddle with a passenger or pet or take part in some sup yoga or sup fishing more regularly, then you should also kind of steer yourself towards those slightly larger boards. Now, one thing that you will need to get that doesn't come with your paddleboard is a life jacket or PFD. Unfortunately, these don't come with the paddleboard kits, but that's for good reason. You need to make sure to get one that fits you. And a high quality PFD that's made for paddling like this one is gonna feel super lightweight and comfortable. You're not even gonna realize you're using it. If you are comfortable in the water and a comfortable swimmer, then you could also look into some inflatable PFD options as well. Now for more information on all the paddle boards that I've talked about today and plenty more, go ahead and head on over to inflatableboarder.com. There we have tons of in-depth reviews with dozens of pictures, a lot of testing data, and so many paddle boards it'll make your head spin. And if you're still confused on what paddleboard to get, you're not quite sure, leave us a comment down below or drop us a line and we'd be happy to help you out. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up, put a comment down below, and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching and happy paddling.